Greetings everyone, hey a warm welcome to you all. Thanks for joining me guys because this is the December reading for you all. It's a great time of the year to go back and review what's happened given it's the end of the year. It's also a really good time to make some decisions about what not to bring forward in terms of things to let go. It's a good time to also plan your intentions for the new year that is just around the corner. So for 2019 coming. It can be a really good time to also look back on the year and see the things that you have done well or that you have achieved or set into place and reward yourself for that and remember to congratulate yourself on how far you may have come in certain areas of your life. And if there are other things that you want to uplift or to start or to carry on, this is a good time, as I said, to set the intentions and put the plans in place to make sure those activities happen. So I have had recent finger surgery on a sort of a node that needed to be removed and it has made shuffling the cards a little bit difficult. So for this month we're going to do a different format. I've learned how to improvise and to connect with the, you know, sort of psychic or intuitive realm at a different level. So the cards have already been pre-selected for you as we run through them. So it's time to also, another good perspective of the dynamics of December is a celebratory time. Now not all of you will follow the event of Christmas, it won't mean that much to you, but it is a time even from a non-religious perspective of appreciating those around you, of connecting in the realm of love, of showing gratitude, peacefulness and happiness. So I do want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas as well and may you have safe and happy, prosperous, love-filled and positive energy-filled December Christmas and festive season and I want to thank you all for joining the channel and subbing and liking the videos and being part of the program and the journey forward for 2019. So thank you all for that and let's get into the readings. Much love. Namaste. So greetings Aquarians. Hey welcome guys to this reading. So for the end of the year I decide to try and utilize a new format here because the shuffling has already been pre-done for you. Do trust that that has been done and these are the cards that come your way. We will be using this one first which is a surrender card. So it's a really good time of the year to let go of the things that we no longer need or that we haven't been able to uh, manifest or finally achieve as the year rolls out and a really good time to set our new intentions for the year coming. We will then take one of these cards, which is the Tarot deck. However, it is only the Major Arcanas and the Aces that are in there. And then the final card will be one from the Keepers of the Light deck, which has already been pre-shuffled, and this will actually be your card, which we will see when we turn it over at the end. So let's get into the surrender to creativity. It's a really nice message to get and I will read out the words for you on the bottom. Let your imagination soar. Stay open to all creative ideas about how to pursue a dream or solve a problem. So a really powerful message for you guys as you move into 2019 about connecting with your inner powerhouse of creativity, of allowing your imagination to take you to new places or new concepts and ideas. And Aquarians, you have the ability to pull stuff out of the air. You, your minds are very celestial and very forward thinking and involved in that sort of ethers or perspective of space and time and ideas that free float and you can attach onto them and sometimes your thoughts are so well advanced that we're not ready for them all yet down here so it can be about learning how to bring them into the now these you know these forward thinking thoughts and ideas and creativity that you have so some of the messages that I got when I was uh, spending time focusing on the card for you was that 
you are being awakened with new potential insight, passion, power and options. So I feel as though for some of you 2019 and even December could be a time where there are definitely more, you're becoming more, I don't know, excited or stimulated or that there are options around you. So if some of you have felt stuck in a rut or not necessarily a rut because I'm not sure that Aquarians get into ruts because you have this capacity to free think yourself into other dimensions if you like. But if some of you have felt as though there weren't enough doors opening for you or the things that you really wanted to have happen weren't being you know, instigated enough or quick enough, this is not going to stay this way. It feels as though almost wherever you turn, there's an option or there's an opening or there's a possibility. Now sometimes this can reference other people in your life as well. So be aware of people who can be part of this game. And when I say game, I don't mean that in a negative term, but I mean it feels as though it's part of a bigger picture that is going to go on for much longer. So for some of you, this could literally be the beginning of a long-term change or a long-term project or it could involve your careers it could involve a health scenario it could involve partnerships so be open to this creativity be open to surrendering to previous concepts or beliefs around certain aspects of your life especially if those beliefs were self-limiting it's time to open up and broaden up and look in the mirror and uh, look at yourself too and know that you hold the answers, you hold the keys to this moving forward and to opening the doors. Some of the other things I have written down were connect with your sacral energy, which is very much what this card is denoting. It's a very orangey gold colored card and the sacral energy is right through the, you know, bottom part of our mid body sort of through this area here so it says to connect with that energy because that is where our creative resources and source and power stems from uh, and I've also mentioned to connect with nature sprites and that you can see in the card there as she holds that mirror up there are hundreds of butterflies fluttering in the mirror but we can only see two of them in the picture so sometimes this can be a message that there are, uh, um, excuse me, that there are things like the fairies or the elementals or the pixies or nature sprites that could be around you that could either lift your spirits or give you ideas, you know, or help to serve you the ideas or help you to awaken to them. There's definitely something for some of you here about psychic awareness and intuition and ability. Tapping into things such as scrying, you know, looking into crystals or mirrors and meditating and finding answers because there's so much out there for you to hear and to be um, uploaded with, if you like, as we move into this new year. Another message that came was problems are only new steps into the future domain. So if any of you feel like you have problems around you that either seem insurmountable or that they are overtaking or that you can't find the solutions to them that one sentence problems are only new steps into the future domain it kind of says to you don't be afraid of facing or you know, confronting issues that you've either put off or that you've been afraid of or that you don't feel you have the knowledge of or you're too you know, scared to face these are your new future this is the way forward for you. So it's all about, yeah, taking the steps and moving into them. So let's turn this card over and see what your major arcana or ace is. And this is a beautiful card to get, of course, it is the ace of pentacles. So a very much desired card for a lot of people in particular. The ace of pentacles often represents our financial or career sectors in life. So again, this can be associated with creativity because the creativity sector is often where we work or how we channel our knowledge or awareness or expertise in life and that is often how we earn our money. 
this Ace of Pentacles can mean there are possibilities and new beginnings for you surrounding money areas in your life. So possibly things like a wage rise. Or for those of you not employed, there might be an opportunity for a job coming. If you've been trying really hard to get yourself a job, this could be out there. Or that there are being ways offered to you to make money. Sometimes it's not so much being employed by another person, but thinking about self-employment, that we create our own money. And in today's society, as we move forward, there are more and more opportunities for people to become self-employed and to make money from that. And some of that is obtaining skills or re-educating ourselves. And there are many different ways of doing that. In fact, just recently I've come across some online places that are free that offer degrees, if you like, and certificates and accreditations in almost every different field possible. So in today's society, there's no real excuse for not forwarding our education or following our dreams or pursuing our creativity. There are options available. The Ace of Pentacles can also mean that there can be something coming to you in the terms of money that may not be career related. It could be like you've been wanting to sell a house and it hasn't been selling and finally it does. Or you are wanting to purchase something like a new car or a big overseas holiday and the money is arranged for that to happen. Whether it be through a loan or you know like a loan from a bank and you get an approval from that or whether a family member loans you the money temporarily. Sometimes you can be gifted money, and this can be through ways of an inheritance or through a scholarship or something along those lines as well. It's a very positive omen. It is still formulating itself because it's coming to you from the clouds, and so there is potential here for input to be added or for input to be required from your end to make it happen. So be, be aware of opportunities that just need a little bit more of a nudge, like I just did on the camera, that allow you to gain this positive income or extra funds or glow around your money or finance or career sector. And with that in mind, let us see finally what this card is. This is from the Keepers of the Light and it is Charity prayer and contemplation. It says, connect with heaven, ask and you shall receive. And after us just saying that we needed to, you know, if you connected with your creativity and you looked into the mirror and you found the answers somehow and that you tapped into your psychic awareness and you tapped into those extended thoughts and vibrations you would find the answers and it says here ask and you shall receive so there's a message here for you guys about making sure you do connect and anything it is that you are profoundly seeking or wanting to activate or wanting to feel or find or just answers of any sort have some faith that divine intervention will somehow manifest the pathway forward. And I will read this for you, the words from Charity. Faith, hope and charity are a trinity of archangels who are dedicated to helping us regain our natural traits of kindness, trust and faith in the highest good. Charity is the twin flame of Archangel Shamuel. She has a great spirit that encourages us to undertake the spiritual practices of prayer and meditation. Prayer is the way we speak with the divine and meditation is the way we open ourselves to receive the answers we need to hear. Charity is also the angel who kisses the forehead of all of those who pray in support of others. She absolutely loves to see this kindness because it creates an inspirational healing wave of goodwill to the earth. The extended message for Charity is, The powerful Archangel Charity is drawing close to you at this time because she has recognised you have goodness in your heart and have put others first. She brings you thanks and support. 
move into prayer and meditation with regard to any decisions you have to make at this time. You are being guided to take the time to breathe and receive. Know that you will have a real surge of intuition when it's time to move forwards. Thank the angels for guiding you towards your highest good and welcome charity into the space with you. It's a very gentle, peaceful message and it does tie in with the other parts of your reading, knowing that you will acclaim the goodness that is coming your way and you do need to activate certain things to do it. And certainly asking your celestial helpers is one of the very best ways to format that. So thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, thank you for being dedicated followers of the channel and for subbing and liking and leaving your comments. Check out your moon and rising signs as well because you might find beautiful messages there for you too that will help inspire you as you move into the new year. So I wish for you all the very best of December and a Merry Christmas and a happy festive season ahead. Be safe and find much love and happiness. Namaste.